What I'm going to make now is uh, Creole sauce, the southern style, coming right out of Louisiana. These are all the ingredients. Now before we even start, you don't have to use fresh tomatoes, you can use the canned plum tomatoes. You don't have to use all these herbs and spices because if you look at a million and one recipes for this, they vary. But I'm going to put it together this way. I think these herbs well, work, well, work well together and uh, this sauce is going to be made and then what do you do with the sauce after this? You could uh, saute shrimps, uh, saute a piece of chicken, a uh, piece of fish and uh, lay the sauce over it, smother the sauce in it and finish cooking. There are so many things you can do with it but the, what's time consuming is just to make the sauce and then you can also put it in the freezer leave it in the refrigerator for a few days. So let's just go about making it now. Well, I diced everything up like so. You don't have to dice it up, you can julienne. Sometimes I julienne it depending on how I want it to look with the cut of meat or seafood, whatever. If I'm using shrimps, I, I like the julienne so it like wraps itself around the shrimps. So, for three tablespoons of uh, oil in there and we're going to put all the vegetables that I diced up. I'm going to raise the flame. And we're going to saute this. After about another minute, I'm going to add the tomatoes. Well, maybe two, three minutes. Let this get a little translucent and add the tomatoes. I'm going to add my herbs now. These flavors mingle with each other. Well, like I said, uh, the seasonings on this can vary, but the basic ingredients that are a must are the peppers, the onion, the celery, and the garlic, and of course the tomatoes. Whether it be canned tomatoes, a combination of whole tomatoes in a can, and maybe uh, puree, I don't like to use paste because I don't like that tartness of the paste. And I'm keeping this flame high. And since we're using fresh tomato, you may think the sauce will be a little thin. But just remember, if I'm going to use this on making like shrimp creole, I'm going to season the shrimps. I'm going to dust them in flour. I'm going to saute them in butter or olive oil. And after about whatever time, then I'm going to add the sauce to bring it all together and what's going to happen? The flour that's on the shrimp is going to thicken up the uh, creole sauce. So if doing it that way I don't want a thick sauce. Now if you're just going to cook a piece of chicken thoroughly without the sauce and you're going to just lay the sauce over it when you're serving, that's a different story. Then it could be a little thicker. So each dish is a little bit different and you work with it differently. Now this is very tasty when it's done. This is similar to Spanish sauce. Spanish sauce has mushrooms in it. Creole doesn't. And we're still with a high flame. Now we're going to add the tomato.
Now I have a choice of, as I said, leaving this thin, or, and I could have put the tomatoes in the uh, Cuisinart and just puree them also. But I like having little chunks of tomato. So this is only the beginning of uh, what this is going to turn out to be. This is just the sauce. I'm going to shut the film because this will take another at least 10 minutes. There's a lot of liquid in there. It will reduce. Nothing's going to happen to this. And then we'll season it and look at it. It's taken just 5 minutes. So I shut it off and this is what it looks like now. I like using the fresh tomatoes more than can with puree because the vegetables are more visible this way. And so will be the item that this is being cooked with. And as you can see, the moisture is just about gone. There's no water laying in the bottom of the pan. And this is not thick, it's thin, there's a lot of vegetables, and now we'll make the adjustments, I'll taste it, and uh, that's it. I'll be using this on other videos to make different items.